I want to talk today about um, a couple of simple things you can do for shoulder pain. So, to start off, let's have a look at a couple of features about the shoulder. So this is a plastic model shoulder and it consists of a couple of bones. So you've got your sort of shoulder blade, which is the flat part at the back. You've got your upper arm bone here and the two join together using a ball and a socket joint. Now, if you have a look closely at this, what you can see is that the ball itself is quite large and it has a, a, a lump on the front to attach muscles. And then the socket joint itself has a roof and that, that is formed by quite a spiky piece of bone which sits here. So as you move your arm up, the, there is a risk that that knobble of bone can press structures onto the roof of the joint. And when that happens, we call that shoulder impingement. And it can be quite painful and it can cause the structures to become a little bit inflamed and make your, your shoulder stiff. Now, there are a couple of things that we can do to try to prevent that, particularly in exercise situations. So, we can lock and we can unlock the shoulder. So, when I take my arm out to the side, if I put my thumb downwards, I'm causing the shoulder to lock. We call that a closed pack position because it's moving the bones closer together. But when I put my thumb upwards, I'm moving into an open pack position. And what happens there is that the bones are moving apart and the ligaments are getting a little bit looser. So if I do a movement where I take my arm over my head, if I put my thumb towards the ceiling, I'm likely to find less pain and less clicking. It's a smoother, freer movement. Whereas if I take my arm out to the side and I move my thumb down, I'm tending to feel that the shoulder is stiffer as though things are trapped. So when you've got a painful shoulder, what you should be doing is thinking about moving the arm to the side with the thumb upwards. The second thing that we can do is that as we're moving, if we move the arm level with the body, then that's more likely to trap things. Whereas if we move it slightly forwards as we come out to the side, that will open the shoulder up. So we've got two things to make the shoulder more comfortable when we're lifting to the horizontal. The first one is rather than lifting out to the side, lift slightly forward. So we would say, reach your arms to the corners of the room. And then secondly, lift with your thumb upwards. That should help to reduce pain and unlock the shoulder.